Hi everybody, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I am just gonna try something. I don't know if it's gonna really work out too well, but I figured I'd give it a try. This is the first time I've done them this way and Sheer Beer, Sheeran, has kind of, you know, she kind of talked me through these to teach me how to do them. So what I'm be, gonna be using is these silver sort of like button things. Okay, they were actually on a bracelet or something, but I'm gonna put those in the middle first and then come back in about four hours and do the bloom flower. Um, I'm using Pro Marine to uh, do these. I have found that the thicker the resin, it works better. So I'm gonna be using that one. And that's it. All I'm doing is laying these down now. So I have my resin mixed up. And I suppose she said just go ahead and lay some in the middle. Make sure I get them right in the middle. And I have plans to use the rest of this on something else. Okay. And I'm just going to pop those bubbles the best I can. Get them as clear as I can. Weed it out a little bit. And then I'll do it again. And here we are. They just look like that. And hopefully the stud's going to show up. Sometimes resin takes away that. <laughs> and drop it in the middle. And then center them. <laughs> Hopefully I have no air bubbles underneath. <sighs> Yeah, hopefully there's no air bubbles. I don't think there would be. All right, let me check and make sure they're centered. Okay, that's it. I'll put them in my drying rack. Come back in four hours. Okay, so about four hours later. So now I'm gonna just pour my resin in there, heat it up, get the bubbles out, get it clear. Then I'm gonna add my silver. I'm gonna add some blue, no white. Um, I went ahead and I put just a little tiny bit of sapphire blue mica in the blue and sailboat alcohol ink in the blue. In the silver, I just put the silver pinata alcohol ink. And of course, in each one, in both of those, about three or four uh, drops of the casting craft, okay? So here I go. Um, yeah, then I put them in my bottles. Once I'm done with my bottles, I squeeze it out as quickly as possible before it gets hard. And then I uh, rinse them out with alcohol. So I don't wanna fill these all the way up, real all the way because I wanna use this pretty sapphire um, glitter. It kind of has just a little hints of silver in it, too. It's real pretty. So I think it'll go well. I think. We'll see. So here goes. Wish me luck. I always pour too much. I forget about the last one. 
So, oh, I need to turn this light on. All right, I'm gonna put the heat gun on low heat so it's not too hot.
Okay, so here I am like eight hours later after sleeping. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so sorry about the wiggling. The camera. It, I am really worried about these because I'm seeing like that silver spot right there. See? It's driving me nuts, and I have to look at them. This is a tiny bit soft still, but not much. But let me show you what resin has always done with me anytime I use studs. Okay, the little diamonds, you know, gems. So this tray I made, if y'all can remember my love, I put glitter in it. This was a diamond stud. This was too. All these were too. You see how you can't see the stud. Oh, my butterfly was all studs. This butterfly was all studs. Maybe it's the way the light's hitting it, but no, I can't see them. They disappear. And all they do is show the silver on the bottom, you know, where the stud is. It's just completely disappears. This one here was a complete beautiful stud. Okay, look, it looks just like a piece of foil or something laying down on it. Even these were beautiful glittered studs so that's what i'm worried about all these or studs and look at that so this was my love tray <laughs> anyway here we go <laughs> uh i'm nervous i am really nervous because these took a lot of work and a lot of material. Well, I guess if it's don't, it's fine. But, and I'm scared to see what it's gonna look like. Oh my gosh, it actually did show up some. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, those are pretty. Actually came out centered. I was hoping to get some gaps in here so that the background glitter showed in here, but I didn't do that. I should have found out from Sharon exactly how she did it, but look at it, it's pretty. That looks really pretty back there. It's very elegant looking. Um, this definitely has a 3D oh look. Yes. Hold on, let me close my son's door. Oh my gosh, you're so noisy. Okay. So that's still pretty. Look at the shimmer in the blue. So I can see the studs. Go figure. Now she said it happened to her on a couple of hers, but you know what, that's pretty. Oh. Man, I was so worried about that. So I'm gonna put silver, I think around the sides of these. I can try it and see what it looks like. Oh, that's pretty too. Smack dab in the middle. That's awesome. I love that glitter too. It's real sparkly. Get that 3D. Yeah, it's got the 3D. 
that's neat. That's so super pretty. Gosh, I can't believe it actually worked out. I really cannot believe it. I just woke up and I swear I was like sitting here going, it better not have, you know? Some of these I overfilled a little. Oh gosh, it's pretty. But sometimes you can't see the 3D through cameras. But it's definitely like, you know, bottom, middle, and top. That's so neat. They're pretty. Ah, oh, they're pretty. Oh, I can't believe I did it. Except for, like I said, I wanted gaps right here. So that this glitter background, but I'll figure out how she does that. I, I think I know why I put that first loop too close to it and give it enough room because I knew, because they spread, you know, once they're heated. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I heated this one. Oh no, I could fix that though. Oh, there goes my coaster. What a bummer, I have to buy a new set of coasters. This can come out. It's already coming out a little. What a bummer though, on that. I did see it smoke and I hit that spot. I must have just torched it too many times. So I take this out with a little exacto razor and it'll come right out. It's lifting up. That's a bummer. I might have to do a coat on that. On these now. Oh, they're so pretty. I'm very thrilled with them. That was just gorgeous. Aren't they? Of course the bottom's ain't because this glitter settles. But it sure is elegant looking. So yeah, that's an easy fix, but well, there goes my set. Can't use that no more unless I put top coats on them all the time. Anyway, <laughs> let's check out. I got this new silicone, they're dogs. And actually one cat came with it. So I put a little bit of mica, you know, inside the silicone. Look at it, I get a kitty. I put a little gold in there too and black on this one. It's cute, worked out. This one here I did like black feet with the mica, a little bit of gold in there. She's cute. Oh, I just woke up and I'm so congested. Oh, look, he's cute too. He's my favorite, I think. I did him white. And then just his ears and his feet black and his nose. Aren't they cute? It's cute. I love him. And then I did three because this was my first time. So I thought, well, I'm just going to try. You know, it was trials. A little pug, like, and then, like, another type of dog. So I can paint these. <laughs> but I actually like using this method. It turned out really good with the mica powders. But, like I said, it was my first time, so I wasn't real sure I couldn't see the details in there. But I really love these three. So I did the rest with some glitter. Let's check it out. Uh, these might not have ears and stuff because... 
uh, this glitter, you have to squirt oh, right on. Yeah, you have to squirt the. Let's just trim those. You have to squirt the resin in the eyeballs and stuff. Oh, look at my cat. He's cool. Right on. <laughs> well, I'm really happy about these. Getting stuff on them, but that's okay. They're not. They're a little pug. You can't really tell with the glitter. Like I said, I was just you know, using up whatever I had left. It's still cool though. Don't really shimmer a whole lot. You know why? That's because these are not smooth on the bottom. Like these are. Yeah, the glitter's not doing its thing like this is. See? Big difference, but it all depends upon the, the mold. He's cute too. Let's turn those off. <laughs> this is fun. I'm very happy about these. They're cute. Yeah, I could even paint over these. Cuties. These actually did work out good. I squirt them in there good in the ears. That's cool. Well, that's it. So that probably took about 10 minutes. And I had a nice short video too. But see, they're a little tiny in there. And when you're using thicker resin, it'll be hard to get in there. But I used a pipette, squirt it in. <laughs> well, everybody let me know what you think. I really think they're beautiful. They're just gorgeous with the shimmer in person. I mean, like I said, it, it, it's something maybe you have to see in person. And yeah, it's beautiful. There's a little gap right there. That's what I intended on for this to come through, but that's all good. Pretty, pretty, pretty. It came out really nice. Of course, I could get this out. Yeah, probably have to do a top coat on that one, but maybe not. So I'll just take something like oh uh, yeah my exactos and just get in that little crack where it's at and you can lift them up well there I got it out but it's got a mark in it still very faint, but I will have to do a top coat, which is no problem. You just put contact, lay it down on contact paper, take your exacto blade, blade, go around it. Real easy. Um, or you can even use all glue, glue all, and you can let glue all dry. Like pour it on here, paint it on, let it dry, and that peels off real easy too. If you understand what I'm saying, you just pour on glue all, paint it on there as your protection so you don't get drips. But uh, I don't find these too difficult to put, to do my exacto razor around, you know, I actually use these and I'll just go around it like this and it moves real well. So, I probably won't go through the trouble of the glue all, but the glue all works real well. 
If you have ridges that are really hard to get around, then use the glue all. Um, geez, I took a long time on showing these. I wanted to show you one of my paintings I did. Okay. So this was the leftover from that berry. And tanzanite, was it? Oh, dear. Anyway, it's got that gold-like background. But it was a ring pour. And <laughs> a funny kind of male part popped up on it. So I was like, no. Anyway, that's that. Thought I'd show it to you. I think it turned out really pretty. Once it's glossed, it'll be prettier. Because it's not wet no more. Anyway, that was a long video. Thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you have a great weekend. I sure plan on it. I uh, just woke up. I'm going to make myself some coffee. And... My son's playing uh, his trumpet, because now he's trumpet. For four years, he was tuba. But he's playing at the high school uh, for a football game. And uh, it's I was always looking forward to this so much. And because of COVID, only the kids are allowed. Only the football players and the band. But at least he's having fun. But I'm missing out on it, so that's kind of a bummer. But I can actually hear the band from where I live. It's kind of neat. <laughs> well, have a good one. Catch you later, guys. Bye-bye now.